and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. GG! Good shit, Ingram. I don't run. I wasn't running. I'm using the Saints. I'm using Seahawks playbook. Well, I'm not running with the Seahawks playbook. I'm passing out there. If I had my Ravens playbook, I'd be no choice to run that shit. And that's one. See, look. Uh oh. Here you go, right here. Let's see how good you is with motherfucking Derrick Henry. This shit boxed. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first. I'm liking it. I'm liking the challenge. Now a first carry for Derek Everett. I'm liking it. They work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, time for them to like, I'm gonna let, this gonna be the worst possible team you could have did this way. Because you know you're just gonna try to run that shit all the time with him. Then when you pass, I'm in the pass run. I'm already on that shit. From the 29, Tannehill. Oh, that's good though. That's great. That's great. That's a great pass. I blitzed too much. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee. I blitzed way too much. A first down carry for Henry. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah. And that should be the final play before the quarter Not, ends. But, yeah, he not, but he he definitely got the speed though. He got the speed. Come on, set. Eighteen, Gator. On second and nine, Tannehill, and the grab made by the tight end Pruitt. And he'll be taken down, but not I'll before take he gets that. into enemy territory. I'll take these checks down. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective Oh, yeah, that's box. Across the formation for an easy completion. Thank you. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right so away. Happy he had a step and around. compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. So happy he had a step on him. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you're running the big-time races. Means they get out to a fast start. They're still oh, the making the other team chase now. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Let's go. To throw is Jackson. Ooh, I like that. I like that. And this one's gonna go the I like that they didn't never game block not one of them though. That's what I like even more. Game block a motherfucker. Jackson. Yo, good. They be sucking me, bro. We do have a they should they should have it set up if I fucking throw away as long as they want me to literally to icon it to somebody to throw it away. That's so weak. But it's all good though. I ain't tripping. I did a bad pass. Back him, please. Fuck. It's all good. Nah, I just threw it away. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. It's literally, but this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it, and this time it results in an interception. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. They'll run on first down. It's Henry. And he'll take it down to the 30-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. 
Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Now we've got movement up front. I think this is going to be on the Titans. <sighs> now after the false start, here's second and seven. After the pass, yes, good shit. The running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Here's Tannehill. Let's go. That's what I like. And, and you can't kick that long ass field goal. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of. You can't kick that long ass 50. That bitch like 55. That led to the sack. That shit too far. It's no good. Off to the right. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, I was watching him in warm-ups, and he hit a 62-yarder that hit the crossbar and went over this one a little bit inside. This one, I need to start getting points. Play. And the difference is what? Well, I need to get some points. Line line conditions, game conditions are a whole lot different than practice, where you just pop it up there, no rush, no pressure. I think maybe that takes a couple yards away from you when you have to do at least it when three. it's real. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second and twelve, Jackson. They go screen. This is Ingram. Wait, I like that. Swear one. Of them. A minute fifty-five left to go in the first half of play. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman oh, yeah, is standing by. Right He'll have highlights and analysis of this I first half. Something. Jackson on first down. Sneed's got it. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Somebody's going to be open, guys. Oh, yeah. Throwing again on second down. Oh, I could have ran that shit last. Probably would have been gone. Away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. I could have been going. They got to get to the 23 here on third. And Jackson throwing once more. Man open oh, once I can take the three. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Do Good defense blocking, holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. So on fourth down, here's the Ravens Pro Bowl kicker, Justin Tucker, out onto the field. From the left hash, this from 46. I might miss that. Nope. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left Justin corner. Justin Tucker, he gets it to go. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Or maybe a little bit of an anxious He's moment. Allowed, no points. I hear him, Yeah, I actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But it had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee, as they'll start at the 21 yard line. Titans offense set to begin the drive. And you're under a minute to go in the half, the first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. On second down, here's Henry. And the defense obviously expecting run as well as they're going to shut that one down at the line of scrimmage. Off play action, Tannehill. He's oh, oh, yo, oh my God, this game is ass, bro. 
This game is ass, bro. This game is fucking ass. This game is ass. No skill. I swear, it'd be no skill. It's no skill. It's bullshit. Got the sense they needed something before no skill game is no skill now still trailing but a good sign that takes no skill it's contact they want to give a jump ball animation that's no skill and a user so they saying i got bad timing okay they saying i got bad timing that's contact it's all good because that shit ain't gonna happen all game that shit only happened last play of the fucking quarter like last time that's so bad. So bad. We're gonna see. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Ooh, too much power. It's all good. If I can stop you in half. It just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. There's a stretch right. Stretch left and stretch right. Oh, good run. Let's go, run. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. Switch. Switch. They keep it with Henry on first down. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans four, six, and a first down. First downs so bad. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run with Henry. Hmm. There he goes again. He big as hell, so he actually could do that. It's all good. They they just fucking hoeing me, bro. It's all good because I'm gonna win because they fucking hoeing me. Well, partner, that was another explosive run, and one thing I've learned in our time in this game. Yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit, but for big runs to occur, it's all good. That's a good thing. I give it to you early. You score. And you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt, you need that difference maker lugging the rock. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. <laughs> the Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play not. to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Had a touchdown. Had a touchdown. Had a touchdown. Had a touchdown. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Jackson now. Ooh, go lucky. lucky. Look at that's a, that's a fucking catch, bro. From the gun, it's Jackson. And an alley to run. And he can only manage to that get tackle this to the 45 yard line. Not that tackle. Well, sure, the first. That scramble good for 13 yards, but not good enough for a first down. It's fourth. I can take these words. Watch the run, watch the run. 54. Fourth down, here's Jackson. Ooh. Intercepted. Well, he presses square though. He presses square. So which one is it? Is it triangle for the pick or is it square? Or is it triangle and square at the same time? Niggas is wow. Like which one is it? Triangle or square? We gonna get this back. We gonna get this back. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. You want to get this shit back. 
A shotgun snap for Tannehill. That's sad. Holy fucking moly, it's two people right here, bro. It's two people. And that's a tight end. And I'm using. Oh my gosh. Two people and I'm using one. That's a nice catch. Two people and I'm fucking using one. Like, come on. Now I gotta change my fucking adjustment, man. I gotta make me do all that extra shit. Third play of the drive. Third down. Spectacular catch turns into Damn. a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. Here we go, here we go. Stick the oar. Everyone come in. Tannehill on first down. Uncorks one for Davis. It's called. That's a great catch. It's a great catch. Give him 32 on the play. Nigga, we always talk about the guy who paid off the That's play. That's Mito. We caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Go. They'll run it again with Henry. They'll get forward for three down to the 16 yard line. So many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Slipped one tackle. Oh, he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive gosh. line to take control of the game. You know. That didn't happen in this case. Now it's only a one touchdown game. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Joseph now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. <coughs> the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson escaping the pressure right. He'll try and run it. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. To throw again on second down. Jackson. Now they too go slow. screen. It's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. They go play action now. Jackson being chased out left. He'll run it. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Looking to 
throw again on second down. Jackson. Wrong pass. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Look at that square press X. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This Looking at Spirit Press X. Really tough. put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. You're sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going for it. Against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not Game ain't over. I'm going to take the three. Now the Ravens going to use one Game of their timeouts. It's just the oh, they want me to go for it. I'm going to go for it. As we step aside here in the fourth quarter. All or nothing. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Mike 55. Mike 55. Hey, watch the ball. Watch the ball. Mike 55. Right there in the middle. 55. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. What a fucking slide. Entered the ball flight and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that in just about every position. And sometimes <clears> if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. Jackson now on second and ten. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. So rushed. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football. And you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. On third down, Jackson. Let's fucking go, man. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle. Two picks, they don't matter. Got two picks, they don't matter. Search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Let's go. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Touchdown. Let's go. That's what you do, man. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. There to make the grab as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning, I like this. I like speed, this tie game two minutes. Let's go. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this tie. Now here's a throw right side That's taken so in by weird. his tight end. 22 yards there, a first down. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Just like that. Just like that. Right. On first down, Henry. A gain of three, second down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. A 
That's what I like. Yeah, that's what I like. You better make a clutch ass. You better make a clutch ass fucking kick. We here. We here. Gosh, you got and he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 26. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. They'll run on first down. That's what I like, bro. The wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. I don't even know what you said with 23 for. seconds to go in the game. Let's go, D. You better just make a great ass. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. Wow. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. They fucking me over with that. Only how you scored, they fucked me over with that fucking bullshit, bro. Jump in the air, fucking. At the end of the fucking half, yo, they always selling me the fuck out. He knows, he, oh my gosh. He is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, I swear I want this run back. So this nigga was ass, bro. They just fucking hoe at the end of the game every fucking time. And game's still not even over. Because I'm fucking clutch. Game ain't over. I'm walking away with this shit. I'm winning this shit. Game ain't over. Cause that shit is whack. That that fucking jump catch shit. That shit whack. No skill. Every time I lose, there's no fucking skill. I never get blowed out. Every time I lose, it's straight. No skill. That's so bad. You think they really wanted to get to overtime and take their chances there? They wanted to get this thing done. When you're the visitor, you don't want to play in overtime. You want to knock it down, get it done, and go home. Damn. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. So you're right there, but obviously the clock is not your friend. How do you handle this situation? You're thinking two plays. One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easier Damn. shot at it. Let's see if they can do it. Might be easier said than done. He's going to let it fly. He got him. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get out of here. That shit was supposed to be a fucking touchdown. He already got the one-hand animation up. Come on. I swear, yo, they just fucking be cheating me. This nigga's, he's already by him. Already got the ball. That's a fucking catch, bro. That's a receiver, bro. I swear they just be fucking cheating me. Niggas know nothing but the fucking cheater, nigga. God damn. Burn. He fucking burnt. Like I fucking say, he fucking burnt. Get the fuck off my game, man. Get off my game! Like I said, get off my game! Get off my game! He's fucking burnt! Barbecue chicken! Fucking Lamar Jackson! Fucking Hollywood Brown! Let's go! Let's go! And it's, I'm saving this clip! And I'm saving this! He burnt GG's! He burnt them the first time! That's GG's! But what I'm gonna do? I told you what? I'm gonna come win this game! Let's just go ahead and focus on the offensive guy. Look what they got done. Yeah. They needed to make one play themselves, and they did it. Yeah, that's the reverse side. It was a heck of a play. Can't and fuck a heck with of me. An ending to this script. Well, that was a fun game to witness, partner. A touchdown there at the very end to win this thing. And that's really where the emphasis is, right? The touchdown to win it. I know that they put a little on top right what's your favorite dessert you know what do you want what do you put on top of your favorite dessert you put a whipped cream there, maybe there, a cherry there you go the whipped cream the cherry whatever you want to talk about that's what they put on it but the story the touchdown to win it that's how they got it done